The Wuhan coronavirus is affecting the global economy at a massive scale, especially people that are doing drop shipping, shipping products directly from China over to their customers in the US, UK, Australia. If you are a drop shipper yourself, you need to stay updated and know what is happening in China with the virus. And that's why I'm here. Let's go into the update right now. If you like these update videos on coronavirus and its effect on drop shipping, make sure to comment update down below update so i know that you're actually interested in these videos and knowing what the situation is at all times make sure to like the video as well subscribe hit that notification bell so i can make more videos about this topic let's go in right now so as you can see here as of february 9 2020 we are at almost 35 thousand cases of the virus all over the world and it's rapidly expanding in the u.s there's also a massive cruise ship anchored in japan with a lot of people infected so we're still waiting on the results of that and 725 deaths so it has more dead people than the actual sars big virus that also happened in china and we'll see how this keeps developing it keeps updating because it is turning to be very very deadly and a lot of people are catching it very fast all over the world that being said, when it comes to dropshipping, how it's affecting the actual workers and the migration of workers back into their cities, back into their factories, working normal nine to five in the factory, shipping products over to the US and all over the world. My contact at CJ Dropshipping, which is one of the biggest dropshipping services outside of AliExpress, basically said that CJ has to postpone fulfillment until the February 17th. They were originally supposed to do fulfillment starting tomorrow, February 10, and the factories were normal. Everybody was going back to work. They were going to transact a lot of orders again, but they have to push that back to February 17. And due to the limited number of people, they all have to come back to their cities from Chinese New Year and also from the virus quarantine. The order processing capacity will be less than 5,000 per day from February 17 all the way over to February 24. As it says here, they're likely to have it controlled and contained after February 24, so they can start processing newly placed orders and go back to the normal rhythm as always. So be careful because if you are transacting a lot of orders, if you're scaling very fast, you could be hurt with this new coming back into pace, coming back into the normal rhythm of actually processing orders. Their sourcing, customer service, and dispute teams are all working from home. And this is Veta, my contact over there at CJ. They're all working at home all day. So if you have any questions, just send them a message. Or if you're in my private program, just tell me to connect you to Sveta and I'll be able to connect you. And you can actually talk to them and see what's happening with your products, with your orders, and with the actual situation there. If you're thinking what to do about this delay and are there really other options apart from drop shipping straight from the United States or getting products from the US, if you're interested in that, there's going to be a video that pops up here and also in the description how to find USA based and international suppliers. So you don't have to rely on China to actually ship your products. But another alternative that you can go for is Hyperskew. Right here, I've talked about them a few times and they've transacted a lot of my orders, a lot of students' orders. Their product prices tend to be a little bit higher, but their contact here, Bella, told me that they checked and a lot of the manufacturers have already returned to work or they should be returning tomorrow, February 10th. So if you're looking for an option or different service that might be able to actually transact your orders and ship them out, they have less products. They tend to be a little bit more expensive, but they're a great option to use over the next two weeks that you can have at least somewhere to get products from until it all goes back to normal with CJ, with AliExpress, and just a normal chain rhythm of sending those products over to the rest of the world. When it comes to advising people that order from your store, if they should be worried about the virus or people that ask about the virus, this is a very legitimate question. And I've gotten all the students say, hey, I have a lot of orders and I don't know how to tell my customers that there's gonna be a delay or that we're gonna start shipping in about seven days because I don't wanna tell them that it's the reason of the virus. I don't want them to be scared. So I prepared a template right here called orders pending. And if you wanna download it, the link is down in the description of this video. It basically says, dear valued customer, this is your name from your store. So just put your domain name or the name of your brand. And then you say due to the current amount of orders and volume that we are 
we're getting in the past two weeks, we'll be experiencing slight delays on product shipments. We're committed to working with our logistics department. It makes you sound bigger than you actually are to provide you the fastest possible service and ship your order in the next seven to eight days. So you're telling them, hey, we're gonna keep you updated. We're gonna try to ship it as fast as possible. And then we'll keep you updated at all times with the status of your order and any further delays through email. We deeply apologize for any inconvenience costs and thank you for your business with love your store or your actual brand name. It's important to send this out one in your email confirmation so people that actually buy, they're aware that the product is going to get to them a little bit delayed so they're not a month waiting for their order and they're like, hey, what's happening? And they charge back you, they ask for a refund and so on, you keep them updated. This is better than doing nothing and it will hugely reduce the amount of chargebacks, refunds that you get because you care about your customers. Always care about the customers, provide a better service, great customer service. If you have to hire somebody to help you, do it. And also it really helps with sending people that have already ordered from your store, maybe a week, two weeks back, send them this email so they know what's happening. They're in the loop and they understand what's going on, that you are going to ship the product as soon as you can. It's also important to note that people understand the situation of the virus in China and how it's affecting the entire world. So even if you say, hey, the coronavirus is affecting the orders, we're gonna get hit by a lot of people coming back to work on their factories in China, we're shipping products from China, and there's the virus, people know about it. I'm in Austria and Vienna right now, and I'm here for a couple of days, and I was out trying to buy masks for the virus, and they were all sold out. Every single pharmacy, every single shop, and every single store that I could go to to try and buy a mask was sold out in Austria. So people know how bad this virus is. They're going and buying all the masks and this is happening all over the world. A lot of people in the US, if you go to your local pharmacy, it's likely that they're going to be sold out of masks because people are aware of this problem. They know that it's massive and every single day there's more and more cases, more and more news stories, more and more videos about it. So make sure that if you tell your customers about it, they understand what it is. They understand that it's a huge problem. It's affecting so many different businesses at a huge other level, billions and billions of dollars are getting affected right now as we speak because of the virus. People are aware of it, they know, so they will understand if you are honest with them. That all being said, if you want another update video on the current situation, when are factories actually going to open and when is everything going back to normal, make sure to comment down below update so I know that you're interested in an update. Like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so I know that these videos are actually interesting to you. And if you're interested in scaling your Shopify store to more than $10,000 per day without having to rely in China and actually ship products from the US, custom products, whatever you wish, from the US in four to seven days, I've created a brand new free training that teaches you exactly how we were able to grow to $10,000 per day with a small team of five people. I show you all the proof exactly how to do it, how my students are able to do it again and again and achieve 1,000 and even 2.4 thousand dollars per day you can see this post in our automated drop shipping group this post 2.4 thousand dollars in a single day how my students are able to do that click the first link down in the description it's a free training how to scale to ten thousand per month your business right now in 2020 and beyond and if you're interested in finding us and international suppliers so you can keep running your business even with the situation in china Check the video right there. There's gonna be a square here with a video on how to find US-based international suppliers for your business. You can keep running it and keep selling. It's here on YouTube, completely for free. If you want an update on the situation, comment update, like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next one.